Welcome back everybody to the adventures of Spider-Man. Uh, in this episode, we're literally just going to be Mary Jane from the looks of it. Which, uh, once again, is not very fun, in my opinion. I get that she's like a central and key character to the Spider-Man universe, but dear God. Wish me luck. Whoop. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Which means... Get into the security room to unlock it. Oh, I thought you were just going to go up the stairs. Uh, hello everybody. Excuse me. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Time Maybe to... Can rile them up to create a distraction. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. <gasps> We're lying. All one big boys club. Come on. All right, let's get. Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Come on, let's lie to some more people. I want to lie to you. Wait, let me lie to more people. Hello. Alright, here. Get get angry. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. Yeah, ask me. If you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on. Let's go talk to security. Yeah. Let's go talk to everybody. More people. Get angry. Everybody get angry. Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Oh. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. Hello. I know this is frustrating, but please remember. In I go. Uh, what is this? A oh, walkie-talkie. I need to take. Hello. Give me the walkie-talkie. Oh, give me the stun gun. Who would love to meet you. Well, I could also throw a walkie-talkie at them. That 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 might hurt them. Um. Oh boy. Stealth take down. Get wrecked. I like this thing. Alright, where do I go though? Gotta turn him around. Go. Be distracted. And then eh. Alright. A little more fun when I can take people down. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the sable agent. Hello. You die now. Mary right. Jane Watson, super spy. Time yeah. to that elevator. Basic spy, I would say. All right. Silver Sable has been alerted, but that did it. maybe Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Maybe Time I can stun upstairs. her too. Stun everybody. Why are there just stun guns lying around? Oh, I guess Sable's setting up, so you know. All right. Just walk out casually. Security's not here anymore for some reason. Penthouse that's, elevator. That's this is it. fine. Hello. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Whoop. Hello. I snuck in. Stupid useless button. Uh oh. Are they going to notice me? I mean, that's surprising. I mean, like, to be honest, they should be a lot more attentive if, if like, the elevator is the one thing that they're trying to protect in terms of, you know, it's the one thing that can access uh, I was gonna, uh, Norman Osborne's penthouse. Ooh. Norman's guards have all cleared out. Jeez. He's hiding something up here. This is a nice place. Um, oh, documents on the table? Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Well... Better still that Norman is such an active part of it. Well, it's because he's the Green Goblin. Like, I, they still haven't explained whether or not... ...downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. 
I should be okay for now. They still haven't explained whether or not, like, uh, Norman Osborn is actually the Green Goblin in this, though. Key padlock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Which was... I suppose MJ would know. Um, hello. Tell me where the things are. This is a what thing. What is this thing? Uh, whoa. 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 This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? <laughs> I wonder where it leads. What is this mask for? Is it just here as like a, oh, by the way, that's there. Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Or maybe this is him becoming the Green Goblin. That could explain it. I, I'd be okay with that. If this ends with... The fabulous Osborne. Norman this ends with him becoming well. the Green Goblin. Hmm. This must be from when Harry's secret keypad behind the family portrait. All right. Must like spy movies. Harry's last day, right? Can I... Can I do something with it? Uh-oh. Wait. Does... Norman could be back any minute. I need to find that keypad code. I thought I had it. Harry's last day. I know we well, left last summer, but... Let's, let's have a drink. Give me a drink. We're working him. hard. Maybe he recorded the date there. Ooh, God, that's a nice kitchen. Um, let's grab a bite to eat. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched. Mayor Osborne Harry has has Where sealed his son's see? Harry's room for the duration of his trip. Okay. Um, this is a strange mission. What's in here? I'm curious. This room smells like rich people. <laughs> it's a wine room. From Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Jeez, imagine being this rich. Far out. That's a mad walk-in laundry. Never mind walk-in closet. Hey, On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the um the big trip. Oh. Um, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I'm guessing you never met him there. So what exactly happened to Harry? Well, he's not in this game at all. Just his voice, I suppose. I love you. Thank you, Dad. Oh. Well. You know, for doing this. Still nice. I love you. <gasps> you well, did say it. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so tired. Let's hope that journalist. What is here. this? It's just blank. Gotta check his room. Alright. Well. Rooftop pool. Out uh, rooftop pools. Uh Norman would have a pool. Yeah, well, New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Maybe not for you, MJ. Uncultured. <laughs> Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different oh. world from Queens. Yes. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. Well, they were so happy. Oh, I thought because they were rich. Compared to me and my dad. Oh, oh that's right. Because MJ changed. has a um, dead sister and abusive dad or something. Can't remember. Harry's room, but it's locked. Uh, I wonder where Norman keeps the key. No. Where? Where are all the things? Is this a key? Is that a key? No, that's just. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry, <laughs> I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. Yes. Um. I miss you, Emma. Oh no. Especially today. Oh, was Emily Harry's mum? Uh oh. I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Emma. Wait, what's I wrong with Harry? I don't get it. Development of GR27 was too slow to save you. 
like a neurodegenerative disease or something for the I'm both of them? Keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. Hmm. The key is with you, Em. I know you'll keep it safe. Wait. So Norman sent Harry away for treatment? Wait, so M M is dead? What were you hiding from us, Harry? And then she has the key? Where is the key? Wait. <gasps> she is the tree. When he was born. Oh. Looks like Norman has made a point of caring for it now that she's gone. Oh. Beautiful. My grandparents did that. They they planted trees when um all me and my cousins were born. All of their grandchildren. I wonder if those trees are still alive. Both my grandparents have passed away on that side, but... A missed terminal diagnosis. Ooh, boy. I knew Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. 1997. Did Harry ever get tested? Well, I'm writing on behalf of my patient, Emily Osborne, yada, 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 yada. So she did, I'm guessing. Um, there's a couple things to check out here. I'm guessing this is Norman's room. What's this? This is a... Otto. Ah. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Emily's death. <gasps> Maybe Otto was in love with Emily. Or Otto... I don't know. Norma's just mom, greedy, I guess. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like what the hell is Midtown? Something attached to the back of the frame. <gasps> Something attached. It's the key. Score. This must be the key for Harry's room. Wow, that worked out. All right. Uh, let's just look at this one last thing. This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board, and he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman. He wants to be the president. Or the leader of the Avengers in that one iteration. I think that's the main iteration at one point. Alright, let's go. Harry's room. Let's get the journal. What? Oh this can't be for Harry. Can't. my. This is not Harry's what I expected. Leaving for Europe today. 0718. That must be the code to that room. Dr. Michael think it's 50-50. I might not make it. If that happens, I'll bet you'll be reading this, Dad. Who am I kidding? You're probably reading it anyway. Norman always has to know. So if you are reading this, Dad, and if No Risk at All turns out to be another Osborne campaign promise, then do me a favor. Show this next part to Pete and MJ. Just them. I love you. To, to Pete and MJ. Guys, I'm sorry. Really sorry. If you're reading this, man, this is tough. Even in an imagined hypothetical letter to you, it's hard to be honest. Here goes. I'm sick. Like, really sick. Doctors think it's the same thing mom had. Uh, neurodegeneration, rapid onset. I was right. I've known for a while, but thought I could manage it. I didn't tell you because, well, because I didn't tell you. I was worried how you'd react. And I couldn't stand to see you go through what I did with my mom. Watching her suffer. Knowing I couldn't help, watching her die was worse than the dying. Things got really bad recently. All those times that I was wiped out from partying or super busy. Yeah, not partying, not busy, just sick. This Europe trip, well, it's a cover. I'm going in for treatment. Experimental long term. Dad's been working on it forever. Promises it'll work. He hates the nickname the techs have for it. Devil's Breath. Oh. Wow. There we go. Oh. They're coming back? Uh-oh. Should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. Oh boy. The serum's ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Oh boy. I mean, he is your boss, so. I'm getting somewhere. Oh boy. All right, next time on the half cast. Um. cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you Wait, follow? I want to go back. Alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Okay, next time on the half cost, we're gonna fix this. <laughs> Whatever it is.